All right, we're joined by head coach uh, Dan Stratford here this morning. Uh, coach, we've got a, a big matchup with Akron ahead of us on Wednesday. It's kind of that uh, weird point in the season where we've played everyone, some one team twice, uh, but we have yet to uh, play Akron. What do you expect to see from that team on Wednesday? Um, a, a lot of what they're, uh, what we associate with them, really, they're, they're always a, a football inside. They're always a team that likes to keep possession and play an expansive style, um, not too dissimilar to to part of the test we had against against Marshall. So um, I've seen enough of them over the last uh, what, eight, eight years or so now um, between my time as an assistant when, when we first joined the MAC and then uh, actually played them a couple of times when I was with the University of Charleston as well. So I know Jared and the staff uh, fairly well and, and, and I'm familiar with the successes they've had and the tradition they obviously have at Akron. So we we're expecting a, a quality contest against a quality team and, and as you said, yet to play them. So, so looking forward to, to the first time out um, against Akron and, and seeing how we fare. Another unexpected kind of week off this week. Uh, what has been the focus in practice to kind of, we had kind of gotten in that mindset of that Wednesday, Sunday schedule and now we're um, kind of fortunate, I guess, to get a week off between games. Uh, what's been the focus in practice this week? Yeah, exactly that. Um, I mean, obviously reiterating to the guys now that, um, you know, there's there's been a lot of things that we've we've seen in these first seven games where we like the way we're trending and we like the improvements um, that we're seeing in our performances. And, and uh, you know, we, we're, we're built up now for for this this last burst and this last gauntlet of, of four games and, and three in a row that are away from home. It's it's just two weeks left and um, that that's kind of the message now and and from a training perspective it's making sure they're really professional and that when we ask when we ask them to be really switched on to what we're trying to do tactically and and, and elements of the practice that uh, are really focused on on our continued improvement or preparation for a for an opponent um that they're really focused and, and really professional in those elements of the training sessions and then at other times because we have a bit more time you know, allowing them to get what they need from the practice, um, whether it be a little more enjoyment and some fun games or some or some finishing exercises or different things of that nature. Um, we, we've tried to mix it up a little bit because we have had this extra time. So there's been a good balance, quite honestly, to the schedule. I think um, we're always disappointed to to miss out on opportunities to play, given how long it had been. But at the same time, we've had that experience of playing um, Sunday, Wednesday, Sunday, and then all of a sudden we got that that break in between. And then another one, and I think, you know, the, the, realistically, the, the squad is primed and ready for this stretch now where we play four games in two weeks, um, knock on wood, uh, to, to finish out the season. I think that the crazy part is, is, is exactly that, that we're this close to the finish line now. Um, and that although we're only seven games in, um, you know, we're well past halfway here and, and, and really feel like we're entering the final stretch of the season. Yeah, it's crazy to think that we're, we're almost to the end here. Um, obviously, the new the new format in the MAC this year, where we're playing everybody twice, kind of how things are going to pan out here. We may not get the chance to play Akron again. So, how much bigger do you think that makes the game on Wednesday that we're going to maybe play everybody else twice, but maybe not Akron? Yeah, it's going to make a huge difference. Obviously, you know they they were picked to be the the, the winner of the conference. Um, They've had a couple of issues themselves with with COVID recently, and that's kind of interrupted their season. Um, obviously, you know, difficult results against NIU um, in, in both games, and, and most recently this this Sunday. So this is a huge game for them, uh, and it's not often that you look at this fixture and, and think to yourselves, you know, we have a we have an opportunity here to kind of leave them in the rearview mirror. Um, it, it's it's time for us to be incredibly ruthless. Um, to, to be really, really clinical and, and execute on, on Wednesday and know that we come out of, of that game with three points and, and the right side of the result. Um, mathematically speaking, I, I think that kind of puts Akron to bed. I don't think they're in a situa in a position at that point to, to win the conference. So um, it, it's a huge game for them. It's a must-win game for them, but they're all going to be that way. If you look at the way the conference standings are, I think all but one team um, still have an opportunity to, to win out and to win the conference. So um, if you like our national tournament starts tomorrow, because every game feels like it's, it's a potential elimination game for you. So um, listen, the team has given themselves a platform um, with the results we've had and, and, and the success we've had in those first seven games to play in pressure, pressure games. That's what happens. Good teams get to play in games that count and mean something and, and have implications to standings and, and winning 
um, conferences and making national tournaments. So we shouldn't um, feel the pressure. We should embrace it. And, and, and hopefully, you know, the guys are up for that challenge this Wednesday and, and continue that momentum through the last two weeks. Yeah, absolutely. Um, kind of looking ahead a little bit to Northern Illinois on Sunday. We are kind of back to that Wednesday, Sunday thing. Um, this is a team that you've seen uh, that we've met before, kind of open the conference season with them. Um, what do you expect to see from them on Sunday? I think similar to us, they've improved. I think uh, upon reflection now that we're further along in the season, uh, perhaps we didn't appreciate how important and how good of a win that was um, with what our second game of the year. So um, I, I feel as though their results, quite honestly, don't reflect the quality of team that they have. Um, so in a sense, that's the bad news because perhaps their, their strength of schedule or RPI isn't as high as it should be. Um, but that's a very good team and, and a team that was very much deserving of, of the win um, against Akron on, on uh, Sunday uh, and similar to, to what we face uh, on, on Wednesday or tomorrow with Akron when we go to NIU, they have everything to play for. They, they will need to win out to, um, to win the conference themselves uh, and they've obviously given themselves an opportunity to do that with two wins against Akron. So um, it's another game where it's a must win for both teams. Um, and, and again, a, a, a ton to play for. So expecting a difficult contest, expecting a game, that a, a team that will have a lot of confidence because of their recent results. And then obviously a, a difficult place to go and play uh, a long travel, um, you know, a long bus ride for us. And, and again, back to back away games as well to compound the issue. So um, we'll have to be mentally very, very strong and very resilient for that game.